Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshi1913, and we're in a Skanthas Inn for a special message from Medea. Is that you? Is it really you? What do you think it means, us meeting like this? I have no idea. It was late, and I was thinking about wanting to talk to you. I must have fallen asleep. Are you my dream Gone woman? Dreaming. We must be. I think so. This is another effect of the spring water. Maybe. I really wanted to talk to you about Prince Charmus. I mean Charmus. Do you think okay. you can change after they get married? Didn't you just tell me this? I know. I could also be quite self-centered. I, I was guess. Married. Perhaps Prince Charmus will grow out of it too. I doubt it, Medea. <clears throat> Anyways, I want to show you that, because, uh, I don't recall ever that happening to me, so... Yeah, okay, now we're back outside of Ascantha. So let's start exploring the southern area, slash Pick'em. Ooh, the alchemy pot is ready. Yay, pot! Uh, yeah. What do we have here? <gasps> we have ourselves a recovery ring! Yay! And what that basically does is it heals your HP as you walk around. Isn't that nice? And now we have to put that with, let's see, a gold bracer and a, what else, a rune staff? Does that make it? Huh? Oh no, the alchemy pot, no likey. Okay. Okay. What was it? Was it the. Was it the. Oh crud. Alright. Alright, let's try this again. Recovery ring plus your drastic leaf plus rune staff equals what I want? Are you gonna spit it out? Oh, he no likey again. Okay, okay, okay. I know the combination now. You have to make that recovery ring with a gold bracer to make a life bracer. And then from there, we use the life bracer, your Drassia leaf plus rune staff equals something super special and very useful. At least I think it is, at least for now, since there's only one person who has the ability to do this. It will give us another person who has the ability to do too, so... Hey, Mr. Cow! Mr. Cow Cow, Mr. Cow Cow, meow meow meow! It's more of a cat thing. Not really a... Whoa, wrong way! Wrong way! You're going the wrong way, damn it! Alright, we're gonna go this way and south towards the monster arena. Where there should be, uh, some items. Some treasure hunting. We're about. We're about. I think we only got a couple more episodes of this stuff. And then we'll go get that dragon with the sun mirror. And totally do that. Okay, so, is there a way to get down to the beach down here? Uh, to get that treasure chest. Uh-oh. The holy protection is squared off. Yeah, I had to go and heal up at Ascantha so that I could, uh, use more holy protection. And again, this, this, uh, this whole thing suits suits the needs of also doing alchemy as well. We're getting a lot of alchemy recipes done, which is very nice. Yay, what do we got? A seed of defense. Excellent. We'll use that later, either in alchemy or otherwise. So let's go. And yeah, so now we're near closer to the Pick'em region, so I'm just going to call this the Pick'em area. And we should be able to get most of the treasures here. And 
yeah, once we're done, we'll be done, you know what I mean? And then, when I, when we go to new areas in the game, I will make sure to, uh, I'll make sure to get all the treasures as we go through it so that I don't have to do this again. But, you know, this was before I had Barongo. Uh-oh. So what are you gonna do? Cast more holy protection. Yay for holy protection. And let's get this treasure. Now the next one should be... Ooh, there's another seed of defense. Now the next one should be over near the monster arena. Uh, let's go this way. So yeah. Um, okay, here's the monster arena. Which sadly we can't do anymore at the moment. Because I cannot beat rank B. Rank B is hard. Okay, there should be a treasure around here. Is that? No, that's a rock. It's the second time I've thought the treasure was a rock. Okay, there should be a treasure chest somewhere around the monster arena. Hmm, where is it? Where is that chest? Alright, it's somewhere around here. Or is it over here? No, 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 no. Now we've gone too far. Yes, and if you're wondering, I am using a a map to, oh, crud, to find said treasures because um, when this game first came out, it came out with an excellent strategy guide. Not as good as Final. Uh, is a, I mean, this is probably one of the best strategy guides I've seen. Like um, in terms of like showing you cool alchemy recipes as you were going through the game instead of just going, ah, here's all the alchemy. They actually, like, gave you when you can make useful items, which was pretty cool. Gave you a map where all the... And we got a mini metal, excellent. <clears throat> What's that, number three or four? And then they gave you a map of all the, uh, the items and stuff. Or a map of all the, where the treasures are. And what, and what key you need to open them, and then they give you a map of all the infamous monsters in the area. This, this strategy guide was very good, and I am using it a little bit as we go through the game. A lot of this stuff's off memory. Okay, now that we have a couple of things, let's hit Dodgy Dave's area. To go there again, you have to talk to this guy, and he'll let you in the back. And then we can go talk to Dodgy Dave. Hey, Mr. Dodgy. What's going on? Yes, so we show him the Ring of Immunity, or trade it, whatever you want. And he'll give you a Bandit Axe, and then the Robe of Serenity. And he'll give you 6,000 gil. Or, gil. Gold, what the hell. This isn't Final Fantasy. So yeah, you don't have to show them. And so now we need a Sandstorm. Stand... Sand, storm, spear. And we will get ourselves a happy hat. And I believe a happy hat... Um... What does that do? A happy hat gives... Uh, restores your MP, I think. As you're walking. And basically, to make a sandstorm spear... We need the spear off Kenshin's back, the partisan. And, uh, some saint's ashes. And that will make a sandstorm spear, so... We'll be able to get that a little later when the casino opens up in Baccarat because we can purchase or we can get some uh, we can get some stuff there with uh, with the coins when we win some stuff. And then secondly, yeah, so we'll be able to get a happy hat eventually. What else? I think that's it that I can think of. But yeah, we'll be getting a stronger weapon for Kenshin pretty soon, actually. I'm thinking about buying that Zombie's Bane, and then upgrading it with the, um, 
the holy talisman to make a zombie slayer or something. It's an upgraded version. I think that might be... If I can't find enough weapon, if I can't find enough uh, tiny metals, I think that'll be the sword I'm going to use on Dolmagus. <gasps> we done! Yay, we have a life bracer. And basically what that does is it, it uh, in increases your HP by 30. Your maximum HP, so that's it's not bad. The third person in the group should wear it if you plan on keeping it. But here's what I really want to make. The third and final recipe with the Eudrastia Leaf Life Bracer. Eudrastia Leaf plus Rune Staff equals something super duper awesome. Actually, we get the Staff of Revival. And just like in the other games, well, um, it, it, when you use it in battle, it casts Vivify. Or, um, Zing in this game. And. Basically, I'll probably be giving that to probably Jessica, so she can use Zing in battle, as Angelo can use it as well. So let's start in getting, let's start getting some of these treasures in the Pick'em area. And here's a, one of those demons. If you want to fight that infamous monster, I'm not gonna fight. Mm, I'll probably fight these guys if I need them later. Yeah, these, these, at least I'm showing you where they're at. If I fought them all, then we'd be here all day. Yeah, I can um, but at least I'm showing you where some of them are, if you need them. There's that devil there guy. Maybe I'll go back eventually and get and fight them just to get their coin, monster coins. Maybe I should have done that off screen. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I'll just do that off screen, kill a whole bunch of... I don't know how to do it. I'll probably just get the best monster team. Or at least what I think. Ooh, a leather whip. Kind of worthless now, but whatever. But yeah, maybe I'll just get... Well, I'm going to show you where all the best monsters are, but... But, uh... Yeah, I'm not going to show you all of the... The peon ones. Or at least that are peons now. So, let's keep going. There's one on the edge over there, past Red's place. We just got that leather whip one... And yeah, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about a little later. I want to make some gonna uh, get some dragon scale stuff, which I think you can steal, but I need a scythe to do so. Yeah, you need um, I think 12 points in, with Yangus with a scythe in order to get uh, in order to get this steal ability. And then basically, I'll show you how to. I'm probably gonna work on that next after I get one more ability with Yangus on axes, then I think I'm going to pour some points in the size. So I can start stealing some items. I can show you, again, I'm going to show you how that works when I get the ability. Ooh, a seed of skill. I think we're going to give that to Kenshin. Probably should have just gave it to Yangus, because Yangus probably needed it. But let's give it to Kenshin, because I want, I want him to finish off these spears. Basically, I'm getting him to 59... And then that's it for Spears, probably for the rest of the game. Because after the Partisan, and we can make another Spear, the Demon Spear, but um, I don't think I'm going to be using them. I'm probably going to stick to swords after after a little while in the game, after we, we have to make the Sandstorm Spear. I think I'm going to stick to Spears. So let's keep going. And then the final one is in the North east corner of the swordsman labyrinth past a uh oh no 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 there's one there's one to the west over here where we need to go pick up is that a oh that's a monster that's a witch monster if you want to get her yeah we have to go around over here to get this one i probably should have just warped or, or or like went on the map and showed you, but then again, I'm not showing you how to get there. Yay, we got an iron shield, which could have been used when we need to make those white shields, but... or whatever we made with those iron shields. Damn it. Oh well. Again, you can probably... Well, I'll... One episode, I'm just gonna be like, listen, you can sell this, you can sell this, you can sell this. Kind of thing. 
you know, one episode, I'm just gonna be like, here's what, here's all the stuff we'll never use for alchemy. You can sell all this crap. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to get over there, so I'm gonna stop the video, and we will continue treasure hunting in the next episode.